ethics, more needs to be accomplished by the Gamergate move movement. But I'd say at this point, the Gamergate stuff, as, as far as how it has been portrayed in the media, either fairly or unfairly, in your opinion, it's just too far gone at this point for neutrals to actually care or want to join Gamergate. The movement is nope. shrinking. Some people think that Gamergate is truly about ethics and video games only. Uh, that would be me. I believe that. Sex for favors. Secrets. Cover-ups. Corruption. I've heard things that'll blow your mind. And now I think it's time you get the whole story. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Quinspiracy Theory. Gaming journalism has reached a low point over the last five years. It started with pieces that had nothing to do with gaming or game reviews, nothing to do with software or hardware, nothing to do with events or expos. It started to travel off into the areas of social justice and feminism and opinion pieces and op-eds that had nothing to do with gaming. It started to have authors who were writing pieces condemning the gaming audience as being sexist and misogynistic, as being racist and bigoted, as being overly violent rapist. This has been seen on Kotaku, on Rock Paper Shotgun, on Destructoid, on The Escapist, on any website you can name this has been transpiring for the last five years. It seems more and more these outlier pieces have become the standard and that the narrative put forward in them has become cohesive and refined, like a talking point targeted at us as the audience. Gamergate with ethics only. 